Hi, it's Greg from Response Fire and Electrical, and today we're going to cover whether or not it's a Western power or energy supply problem, or is it something within the house which needs to get fixed up um, when you've lost power. So what I want you to do is to come in and take a look at this switchboard. Now I want you to come out to your switchboard and just take a look at your switches. Now what we're looking for here is RCDs because we're going to test them to see if they trip. So you can see here that this has a, a switch and a test button on the same device and you've got three RCDs down here with three test buttons and the switches. Now if it's an energy supply problem, so a Western Power fault, if you push the test button and it's on, these won't trip. So now I can tell that there's an energy supply problem because there's nothing actually feeding power to those RCDs. Now they're not going to trip. Uh, the next thing you want to see is have you lost some lights on your meter? So your meter might have lights. If it's an older meter, you want to be looking to see if the disc is spinning. Um, but with that, if you've lost lights, you know it's a Western Power problem. Now call up Western Power uh, on the faults line, and they'll be able to. You'll be able to just say what's your postcode. They'll tell. They'll tell you when they expect to have the power back on for you. Or if it's a new fault and they don't know anything about it, you can report it and then they'll come out and fix that for free. So that's how you identify if it's a Western Power problem or not. Hope this helps. It's Greg Allen, Response Fire and Electrical, and have a super day when you get your power back on.